Hey, Jason here from Theme Punch. So in this video we're going to discuss how you can load video inside the grid's light box. This could be YouTube, Vimeo, or HTML5 video which would be locally loaded from your website. So I set up a grid here, just named it Test, and then I've got it displaying on a page here. And right now I've just got it set up to display the featured image inside the light box. So if we click this magnifying glass icon here, I can see that the images are loading inside the light box. So for this setup, I've got about six posts created, and each one has its own featured image. and then in the settings for the grid for the source I have post types post and then a couple categories to pull in those posts and then for the light box I've got it set up to load in the featured image so if we wanted to load in video the first thing we would have to do is assign a specific video to each of these posts so the way we would do that is to go ahead and visit our posts that we're pulling in to the grid. And inside each post, if you scroll down, you'll see Essential Grid Custom Settings. If we click the Alternative Sources tab, this is where we can add a YouTube ID, a Vimeo ID, an mp4 HTML5 video and there are also additional options which could also be loaded into the light box but for now we're just focusing on video so let's go ahead and add some video sources to these posts so I'm just going to head over to YouTube and let's search cats I'm going to copy the ID here. And then I'm going to paste it right in here where it says YouTube ID. And then update the post. So this is for the post named People. Let's go ahead and add a Vimeo video ID to History. going to copy the ID here from the URL. Alternative sources, paste in Vimeo ID here, update the post, and lastly let's add a locally loaded HTML5 video to a third post. So this one here, Sports. So the two videos I have already set up are this one here, which is the MP4 version, and there's also a WebM version. Now MP4 will work virtually everywhere across all computers and devices except for Firefox on Mac. So this is where the alternative video a WebM or it could be AUGV would come in handy. So to create a WebM video all I did was search Google for uh, MP4 to WebM conversion and then I used this online tool here which allows you to upload your MP4 version of the video and it creates a WebM version for you that you can download. So one thing that's important when you're adding HTML5 video to the grid 
is to paste the video URL into the browser's address bar directly and make sure that it plays inside the browser as is. The general rule of thumb is that if it can't play inside the browser as is, it won't play inside the grid's lightbox. So I always like to test this just to make sure that there's no issues with the video itself. Okay. So let's go ahead and copy these URLs. And I'm going to paste the MP4 version right here where it says HTML5 video, MP4, right in there. And then the WebM version I'm going to paste right in here. And then update the post. So we've set up three different types of video for three of our posts and we could do the same for the remaining posts but for now we'll just have videos for these three posts here people history and sports so the next thing to do is head back to the essential grid where it says light box shown media orders set source order so this basically is a tool that allows you to not only choose what you want to show inside the light box, but also the order in which you want these sources to be chosen from. So for example, if we chose featured image and YouTube video, if they're in this exact order here, if the post has both a featured image and a YouTube video ID assigned, because featured image is listed first here, it's going to automatically show that in the light box. So in order for our YouTube video to be shown in the light box instead of the featured image, we'll have to move this to the top of the list. And because we want Vimeo and HTML5 video to be loaded into the light box as well, let's go ahead and select those. And we can move those to the top of the list as well. Now if you remember, when we added the video sources to the individual posts, we only added one source per post. So for example, our people post here only has a YouTube ID. So when the light box goes through this order here, it's first going to look for an HTML5 video, but because one is not defined here, it's then going to look for what's next on the list, which is Vimeo Video. Now that also is not defined, so the third choice will be YouTube Video. And because that is defined, that's what will be loaded into the light box instead of the featured image, which is below YouTube Video here in our list. So let's go ahead and save these settings and test our grid. And people, history, and sports right down here at the bottom. So if we click the magnifying glass now, you can see we've got our HTML5 video showing. If we click the next item, It'll load our Vimeo video, which is from another one of our posts that we set up. And the next one should be YouTube. Here we go, we've got a YouTube video. So sports is HTML5, history should be Vimeo, people, YouTube, and because we don't have any alternative video sources set up for the other posts, they should just still open up the featured image inside the light box. There we go, we have the featured image. Same thing for the other posts that we did not set up video sources for. 
So this is how you can set up a video to be loaded inside the Lightbox for YouTube, Vimeo, and HTML5 video. Thanks for watching.